friends, welcome to another Happy Mail Monday. And yeah, I thought hello friends instead of hello zine friends. Not that you're not zine friends, but maybe people have come to this channel uh, through the mail side of things, the mail opening side of things, and may not know about zines yet, in which case go to my channel page and <laughs> check out the zine collector where I purr and basically fangirl all over zines about zines, that sort of thing. <laughs> so yes, hello friends! <laughs> a little bit different between the different videos could be a good thing, I'm not sure. <laughs> Crossing fingers, knock on wood, that sort of thing, and um, yeah, it probably doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things, but what can I say? <laughs> I have some glorious mail to share with you today. I'm so happy. Da 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 da. <laughs> I it's actually kind of funny because um I have been getting a little bit behind on my mail. So uh, as I'm sitting here doing my mail opening video, I have a massive stack of envelopes and things like that on the uh behind everything. So and speaking of, uh, stay tuned until the end of the video because I will hopefully, um, not hopefully, incorrect use of hopefully, which is pretty standard, but uh, grammar, grammar. <laughs> oh gosh. It's a beautiful day. It's, it's sunny and I'm excited about mail and I'm just all over the place. So yes. Anyway, so end of the video, I will, with any luck, remember to um, let you know about the thing. What thing? You'll find out. <laughs> Gosh. Okay, so mail. We have some gorgeous mail. And first up in, as always, very fun mail art style envelope, some goodness from True Zine Marine in California. I think that's where they live. Yay! I was actually um been talking to this person for a while and they were actually going to like, yeah, step away from zines and I'm like, no. I can't believe that I'm I'm like I I was hoping not. Like obviously you want to make your own choices in life, but I'd hate to think anybody's stepping away from zines on my watch. I am like uh what was it, the fairy godmother of zines of zine makers? <laughs> That's not something I call myself, I promise. <laughs> Somebody else thought it up. Okay, we have... Ooh, let's see. This... So yes, from True Zine Marine. Let's see. Thank you for inspiring me with Mini Zine March. If you're not familiar, um, Mini Zine March is just something I started a few years ago. And during the month, I encourage people to make mini zines, which are usually the um, the A7 size. But by for the definition of the month, um, for definitions for the month, I uh, include quarter size, that sort of thing. Anything that's really under half fold kind of gets in there because I tend to review, um, usually I review Thursdays and Fridays, um, review zines. And... Um, during mini zine March, it's usually Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. And I only review mini zines. It was kind of my way of um, sharing my love to the smaller zines in the, <laughs> in the zines world. I, and it's not just like the A7 or the quarter. It's, you know, you can get itty bitty bitty. Anyway, so yes, um, uh, True Zine Marine saying thank you for... Um, the inspiration and you're very welcome i am very glad to have inspired you and they have sent along Ooh, interesting okay so <laughs> murals of come on you can focus camera you can do it well <laughs> yes look into it there we go murals of Marin, Marine, Marin. I want to say Marin because there's no E, but I also know that it's choosing Marine to um, rhyme. So yeah. 
Anyway, it's, um, I believe it's Marin or Marine County in California. It's very colorful. I like it. And then we have fun envelopes. Um, True Zine Marine makes, oh, I don't want to rip it. <laughs> makes a lot of, um, uh, PETA animal rights, that sort of thing. They make a lot of those, um, zines. Very cool. Sorry, I'm, my hand's shaking a little bit. I apologize for that. So yeah, some mini zines from True Zine Marine. And yeah, I won't read the whole letter. As always, you know, I prefer not to read it if I don't have explicit per permission. Just because, you know, I like to be careful and respectful that way. But thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, so colorful like I'm, I'm getting distracted because i keep wanting to <laughs> focus on it thank you i was not expecting mail at all so thank you very much and i'm glad that you're still um keeping at least one foot in the zine waters for the time being <laughs> come to the zine side <laughs> oh gosh thank you let's see next up in a very very pretty very pretty envelope I like those colors. It's winter here, so it's nice to have, you know, you get in the mood for slightly darker color, cover, uh, covers, colors and whatnot. At least I do. Mind you, I'm, I'm all about that sunshine. I am a cat wanting to lounge in the sun whenever the sun comes out during the winter. Now this is from Latibule. Oh, there's so many cute things, goodness. <laughs> all right so let's see we have a zine but a bum blur now i could be wrong but i do believe this is a comic per zine i think it might be her let it be little, um first per zine but don't quote me because i'm not entirely sure about that. I, I remember her talking about making a purzine, but I don't know if this one's it, but ah, either way, it looks really cool. Um, definitely recommend checking out uh, Latibule on Instagram. Very skilled person, love the art style, highly recommend. So there we go. Hi, Nyx, how are you? I am scattered. <laughs> Goodness, well, thank you. I'm making a few new zines for an upcoming zine and comic fest. I made this one yesterday. It's probably one of my new favorite per zines I've made. See, there we go. I was right. Per zine. <laughs> I hope you like it. You can show it. It's inside. Oh, I can show the inside on camera. Oh, okay. Let's see. Okay, so there's a little PS in the note, but I'll, I'll get to that. So given I have permission. So, um, Let It Be Old does all kinds of really cool, amazing art, but this is more like a, a sketch style, that sort of thing. So there we go. I'll try to keep my hand steady. Very cool. And I'll just see. Yeah, there's definitely more like sketches and things like that. But yeah, definitely check out her Instagram. Oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> oh, goodness. Thank you. Thank you so much for permission to share it because you are very skilled. And I'm very happy to be able to <laughs> share your um, stuff. <laughs> Whew, goodness. All right. Yes. Thank you very much. And also we have some fun planet stickers. I love stickers. There's so much fun and glittery. Ooh. <laughs> very cool. And some super, super cute stickers here. Yay. <laughs> Very cute. And, and washi enthusiasm. Oh, rainbow washi for happy pride month. Oh, come on. 
you're not going to focus, are you? All right, so it's not going to focus on that, but happy Pride Month and some cute strawberry washi. Oh, I do love the washi so much. <laughs> oh, a bit intense on the washi love there, so forgive me. <laughs> okay, so we have a little PS from Latibule. What planet is your favorite? Considering Pluto isn't one anymore, my second favorite is Neptune. <laughs> oh gosh, my favorite planet. Um, well, when I was younger, I was really into like Sailor Moon. I mean, as much as I could be, like uh, it was always on. Like I lived in a very small town, and I lived far out of the, that town, so I always oh, was only ever able to catch like the tail end of episodes and stuff like that when it for its limited run, and um, I was like, I didn't really identify a lot with the Sailor Scouts, the traditional ones, because I was watching the beginning episodes, and so I, I made up my own. <laughs> Sailor Saturn <laughs> before realizing that Sailor Saturn is a character etc etc of their own storyline but uh yeah I've always been pretty uh <laughs> into Saturn but um astrologically uh I'm I'm a sun baby <laughs> in um western and eastern astrology I'm I'm all about that sun <laughs> oh goodness is that <laughs> Did you want me to answer here? <laughs> Thank you so much. It's always a joy to receive things from you in the mail. And I will have mail coming to you very soon. Thank you for the lovely stickers. And it's always lovely to see you making more zines. <laughs> Next up, we have mail from Billy. I always want to say Billy the Bunny, but I don't know if he actually goes by Billy the Bunny at all anymore. He does have the um, Bunny Ears um, audio zine distro. I'll link it in the description. It's basically people reading their own zines. And it's there for your for your listening pleasure. Um, there is a, a slightly old at this point recording of me reading Don't Call Me Cupcakes. So yeah, <laughs> check it out. I will put it in the description. Ah! East Coast Adventures, bar, 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 number six and number five. Oh, this is so very cool. Very cool. Very excited. Newsletters. <laughs> um, I probably said this way too many times, but if you're new here, um, basically I love the newsletter zine. It's basically, it's a slice of life. It's the, you know, brochures you learn to make in school as, as a kid at least I did um and it's the it's the life update Christmas letter without the holiday it's more than once a year it's it's just whatever is going on in your life and Billy had um the life and times of Billy Roberts for um what was it did he get up to he nearly got to a hundred um hundred of them I only have like a handful but um yeah and then he stopped when he moved to Baltimore I always want to say Boston and I don't know why <laughs> and um yeah and and I actually have one right here so just one moment okay so he stopped writing those and then I before I even moved I moved to Murray Bridge and um I knew I wanted to do something like like he had done and so I started missives from Murray Bridge now <laughs> he inspired me and I sent so I sent um he's on my mailing list basically and um I inspired him I guess <laughs> I guess to start his as well um start another one as well and also Zippity Zindra um in Canada I believe um started one as well uh strawberry oh gosh i feel so bad um strawberry oh gosh it's strawberry something and i am so sorry zindra i just <sighs> anyway so yeah we, there are um let's see let's see if strawberry leaflet that's it that's it thank you billy <laughs> 
Scott actually got a list of um, different uh, newsletters in the back. Anyway, I'm prattling on a lot, so apologies. But yes, that's what they are. They're they're just they're just really. I think they're cool. They're um, they're e- they're even easier to make than your standard scene, which makes it even more accessible, doable for people. And I just it's. It's the blog post you get in the mail. You know, it doesn't have to be necessarily be exciting or huge or massive things are happening in my life. Rah! It doesn't have to be like that. I like I like to hear about the day to day. I like to hear that you you got a puppy or you know you're trying a new class online. That sort of thing. Like I highly encourage everyone to um, make things like these because a I will read them like if you think oh nobody's gonna want to read I want to send them to me I will read them (laughs) the um when it does come to these I don't really review them anymore because these are kind of like my my special precious scenes like I don't have to review them they're just my my simple relaxing reading time where I don't have to have a notebook for notes out that sort of thing anyway I have talked a lot about this (laughs) I hope it's interesting in some way, shape, or form. But yes, um, thank you, Billy. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to um, to get into these. Like I said, that I don't really review them because they're my quiet time, just for me, things to read. Oh gosh, so excited, <laughs> so happy to see them, and yeah. Anyway, thank you, Billy. Thank you so much for sending them. Mm, yay. Oh, did I prattle on enough about that? Like, I just, I get really excited because, like, I, and they don't have to be in the brochure style either. Like, um, Sober Bob's $50 uh, minimum are um, two A5 sheets, folded and stapled, that sort of thing. And, um... Let's see, what is it called? Knights, Knights in West Ealing, I think. I might have that wrong. Um, that's another free one that's um, actually usually one, just one A4 page folded into four, which is really cool. So yeah, like it's the free, it's kind of the free slice of life scene, that sort of thing. Okay, and next up, last but certainly not least, we have zine mail from Kira. Check out that washi. I think those are succulents, I think, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not a plant person. I'm not a green thumb by any means whatsoever. Those jeans certainly missed me. Oh, beautiful washi. I love washi. <laughs> so much I want to sing about it and um thank you Australia Post for uh opening it most of the way for me if anything has been lost I am going to be very very not happy with you because why are you opening my mail (laughs) so yes we have mail from the amazing Kira and they are amazing they have been so supportive and generous and just oh goodness they like when I first put up my wish list my zine wish list on um on sea green zines I didn't really expect anybody to look at it but Kira just they they go above and beyond and they are just they're amazing amazing person and I'm happy happy to know them and yeah (laughs) And once again, Kira has generously kept me in zines. <laughs> but first, we have... Ooh, business card. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Eee. Wasted Ink Zine Distro. So cool. Highly recommend you check them out. So sad they're not in Australia. But you know, what can you do? What can you do? <laughs> but yes, Wasted Ink Zine Distro definitely recommend you check them out and yes Kira contacted me they mentioned doing a little bit of a zine order from Wasted Ink Zine Distro oh super cool sticker and yeah Kira was like is there anything you're interested in and I was I'm just (laughs) 
Uh, like I said, Kira is amazing, and so is this sticker. Kira is awesome, and yeah, keeping me in zines so I don't have to worry about uh, having enough zines to review. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so much goodness in here. There's so much goodness. Okay, so we've seen the Wasted Ink Zine Distro, and now we have Drawn Poorly Zine. Very, very cool zine. It's a series about um, living with chronic illness and, and things like that, chronic illnesses, and it's just amazing. I recently reviewed Drawn Poorly number one, I believe. So definitely, um, I'll put the link in the description, check it out. It's It was a very powerful read to me, as cliche as that might that description might be it was very awesome so on to the zines <laughs> hi nix no fancy paper oh. <laughs> never apologize for sending me happy mail uh like if it's in a brown paper bag i'm happy it's it's all wonderful. It's all good. And how could I not be happy when you are so generous and amazing? Let's see. Uh, yes, yes, of course, everything's going to bring quite the smile to my face. You're just just thinking about your amazing generosity brings a smile to my face. And I just, oh, goodness me. Okay, so here we go. We have... <laughs> I saw this on the Wasted Ink Zine Distro and I just thought, oh, I had all the feels for the, my live journal days. Let's see. The live journal obsession. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> it is a purzine and it sounded great and I was just like, yes, please. Yes, please. I'm not sure who this is by. By Mary who has a surname that I would rather not um, do very badly. So, oh, very cool. Oh, the live journal days, right? <laughs> very cool. And next up, ooh, yeah, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Blunt talk. Oh, so cool. I actually saw the call for submissions for this go up, but I didn't get anything written on time but I actually um, ended up doing one of the units in my professional writing and editing course um, was writer and research and all my research papers and various things were about um, hemp and marijuana and things like that so I definitely wanted to check this out and now thanks to Kira and their amazing existence in this world I can so excited <laughs> oh cool yes thank you Kira I've just oh goodness like how do you how do you properly thank someone for like their existence <laughs> Like, uh, is it like I feel like anything I want to say, like you are the person I want to be. You do the things I would like to do. That's sort of, that's kind of like weird for people. <laughs> so, I, uh, Kira has sent drawn poorly issue two relationships. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, after reading the first one, I am so excited to see the second one. And just don't get distracted, Nyx. Oh, thank you so much, Kira. You're amazing. Ooh, okay. So we have another one. Gay Trans Boy Things, Volume 1. Come on. Oh, sorry, it's blurring. Very cool. And color. You like color. Quality Network. Oh, come on. Stop blurring. There we go. Yay. <laughs> Very cool. And if I could just get it to focus on those details. I will um, put all the details of the... Obviously, the people who send me mail, I put their just details in the description. But because Kira has sent me 
um, zines by other people. And I've mentioned uh, they also sent me things like the, the Wasted Ink Zine Tree Store. I'll put all of the details for all of the things in the description. It'll be a big description. And if you're interested in any of these zines or, you know, checking out everything, all in the description. So next up we have, ooh, okay. And um, by the person who wrote Gay Trans Boy, we also have Men Do Bleed Too. A story about a man with en endometriosis. Ooh, okay. Interesting. I'll get my finger out of the way. There we go. Cool mini zine. Oh, gosh. There we go. Awesome. And brrr, Kira's own zine. Bum, ba, da, bum. Small potatoes number four. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Quarterly Perzine. Like, I am always impatient to read Kira's, um, Kira's zine, but, like, quarterly, like, putting it out quarterly, I have to admire their, their dedication to, like, that's, oh, that's so cool, and I'm so excited. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Stop reading the zines while you're recording the video next. <laughs> goodness. Thank you, Kira. A thousand times thank you. I'm honored to know you. You know, you, you inspire, like, all the things you do, like, zine workshops at, and creating a nice space at your space and everything. It's just, and your zines and, your, like I said, generosity. Thank you. <laughs> so much. It means a lot to me and it inspires me when I'm feeling um, self-absorbed and <laughs> self-focused and self-pitying. So thank you so much. And of course, thank you to Latbule and Billy and True Zine Marine and oh gosh, everyone who has sent me email in the past, who has sent me mail that hasn't arrived yet, who has um, <laughs> is even considering sending me mail. Thank you so so much it really it makes my day it brightens my week it, it just makes life generally a bit easier and nicer to you know just um be not only a witness to people's generosity but <laughs> what am I trying to say <laughs> I'm doing very well <laughs> But yes, thank you. A thousand times thank you. My, um, I cannot ar accurately articulate everything I'd like to say, but thank you. <laughs> if you would like to send me anything, my uh, mailing address is in the description. If you're watching this on the seagreenscenes.com uh, website, then my uh, mailing address is in the sidebar. And like I have said, I do try to get back to people. So if you would like some randomly picked out, sent as soon as I can, mail, um, be sure to put a very clear um, return address on the envelope. And as you may have noticed, I do um, cover them up with washi tape. So your privacy will be respected in the video. <laughs> Oh goodness, I'm just looking at the time on the video and it's it's a bit longer again, but like, you know, no complaints because I've been talking about awesome zines and very happy about that. And now we come to the part where I said, you know, wait until the last bit. This is the last bit. Um, I know how much mail means to me. Um, uh, <laughs> without going into too much, you know, I, I deal with depression and anxiety and all that stuff. And I know that in, in hard, difficult times that just something in the post box can really just, you know, it, not everything is bad when someone has sent me something. And I don't know if that's sad or not, but that's, that's me. That's it. It perks things up. The world, my life, not an awful place, you know, when people are being so lovely and sending me mail. So anyway, what I would like to do is uh, pay it forward. Now, <laughs> oh goodness, I should have thought this through a little bit more. 
maybe scripted it out. But yes, what I would like to do is pay it forward. And how I would like to do that is just by saying that if you would like some mail, I have some mail to send to you. It's, I have these missives from Murray Bridge. They're just the, the brochure type things. They're just about my life. They're, they're, you know, they are what they are. And, and I usually include a few other little goodies, but if you would like some mail, if that would brighten your day, get in contact. You can email me at cgreenzines at gmail.com. You can message me through Instagram. I'm at cgreenzines. You can message me on Twitter. I'm at cgreenzines. And um, yeah, let me know if you're comfortable. Like obviously if you're not comfortable, don't do it. But let me know what your mailing address is and I will send you some zines in the mail. That's that's it. That's the, <laughs> the big, the big reveal, the big surprise. I I have mail to send. I have um, my ink cartridge lasted a bit longer than I thought it would, so I have extra copies of things. And yeah, I just like I said, I know how much how happy it makes me, and I want to spread that, and I want to pay it forward. And if I can spread a little bit of the sunshine that people have helped uh, shine in my life, then I would love to do so. So yes, various places to get in contact and let me know where to send some mail, some happy mail. (laughs) Okay, so that's me for today. I will stop rambling on before this video gets, uh, just checking this, (laughs) before this video gets very, very long, but I am absolutely serious. Yeah, if you would like some mail, like, let me know. I've got a mail out that's going to happen next week, I believe. So yeah, why not join in, get in on that train. Let me know if, if you're for some reason watching this like next week or two weeks after, or even a month after this goes up, if you're watching it very late, just still, you can let me know, like, let me know where to send and I shall send. I'm happy to. There is no deadline for this mail send out. (laughs) I will stop rambling and I will wish you all the best for your day and your week to come. I wish you a lot of mail in your post box or your mailbox. I, I wish you good things and yeah, I will see you next week. Bye. So that is what happens when I have an idea right before I'm falling asleep and then I don't think about it until I sit down to do the video and go, oh wait, I had that idea and I still want to do that. (laughs) I hope I articulated it well. Is it weird to say, you know, give me your mailing address and I'll send you some mail? Is it odd? I feel like I'm a bit out of touch as to those things, but yeah. I I, I hope somebody takes me up on the offer because yeah, I'd love to send some mail. Have a wonderful week.